Um, what I wanted to let you guys know, April 28th we had a tragedy. And I wanted to let you know the athletic department has worked very hard to try to correct the issues that uh, presented itself for that tragedy to occur. And uh, we want to improve your safety. We want to improve your well-being. And we're all family. And we're going to work very hard until we get it corrected. Many of you live on off campus, right around this community. And we've met with the community leaders, we've met with the police, we've met with elected officials, uh, and we've talked to everybody. We've talked to business leaders in this town. And we're working to make changes. One of the changes, and this is a unique opportunity, and this is why I wanted to get you up, because we don't have everybody in one room in one spot. But this is very important and your safety is the most important thing. And the people that we've talked to, uh, one of the things, the Chief of Police, Chief Cochran, has been very open with us. All your coaches, all your head coaches have his personal number. He's assigned three community police officers from the police, the Topeka Police Department to be our contacts if needed. Your coaches are your contacts. Some of you live on campus, but you will go off campus quite often to visit the people that are off campus. And it's an awesome community we have around here. But there's also violence around here. So we need to be our own community. We need to be our neighborhood watch. And so bottom line is you see something, you say something, you help each other out. And we have a communication network now directly to the police. Our own Washburn police are outstanding and they're on campus. We have a proposal for them to help off campus. I don't know if that'll get done, but that's what we want. To help secure the area from here to 12th Street, here to Topeka Boulevard, here to Randolph, here to Shunga Trail. And that's where the majority of you live. Okay, but we can do a lot. We can be great neighbors. If you see something in your neighborhood that isn't right, you communicate it. Communicate it to a coach. Communicate it to an officer if you need to, and we will get that out. But us in this room right here can do a lot of good in this neighborhood and make changes in this neighborhood around us. We have a beautiful campus. Most of the area around this campus is outstanding, but there's some tough spots, and we can do a lot to make those tough spots better. And we're working with every leader in this community, and your coaches are doing it. And so we, we stand together, we can get this thing changed over. And the amount of energy you all have and the power that you have is greater than you can ever imagine. We were just at a church on, on the east side of town this morning. And to see those little kids come up and look up to some of our guys that were there, it was eye-opening. Okay? And that's the way your leadership is in this town. The second thing I want to do, and, and Coach Ballard kind of hinted on it, is there is a closeness to this, to the athletic department that I've never seen. I've been here 18 years. And sometimes tragedy brings you closer than anything else, okay? But there's a real closeness here, and let's, let's expand that. Let's have a little bit of the one spirit in us where we're cheering on each other, okay? And when you play for someone else, and you play for your teammates, beyond what you would play for yourself, you're gonna do that much greater, aren't you? You're gonna have a certain passion to how you play. And we're going to see that in every, every athletic team this year, I guarantee you. On three, if we could, we break down like this now. We, we say these worlds. So on three, if you could yell these worlds. One, two, three. Louder. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. All right, have a seat. Thank you. So are your officers, obviously I understand the jurisdiction uh, and that your only, your jurisdiction is just basically the campus, possibly to the midpoint of the road. Mm -hmm. So can they not, um, if they hear something that's going on in, a, in an immediate neighborhood um, near campus, some, somewhere in close proximity, can they not respond at all or what's the situation with that? We have with the jurisdiction agreement as I understand it, okay. I'm, not dealing with it uh, right, I understand. attorney back here. Um, the jurisdiction agreement draws that line. If the Topeka police call us and ask for help, we will go help them. Okay. If we have staffing to do it, right? We probably turn down more than we are able to do. 
they're not going to leave the campus exposed. How sure. do we know it's not just a, a ploy to get us off the campus? Um, Good point. Uh, they're not going to leave the campus ex exposed. But if there was a gun battle going on at the church right across the street here, okay, and peak police ask us for help, we would try to help. Them, okay. okay. But that is rare. And we don't know the players that the peak Speaking police know they know who the bad guys are and who the good guys are, and we don't we don't know that. We know where the good students are and where the bad students are, perhaps, but we don't know the the bad guys that are out there that they know. I mean, they probably recognize some of these people. We don't know that, um, and and we try to we will try to support them. But the first duty is here on campus.